morning legends just finished the gym session day one in England I thought I'd just sweat out some stuff I've eaten on the plane get my body moving so it's not too stiff and sore after the long flight I've just caught the tube from central London and I'm at Northwood Hills which is my old stomping ground I lived around here for six months so good to be back I'm just gonna get a bus up to East Coast I'm hoping to get a haircut first so see what there is around here Hey vlog, I'm just getting to Eastcote Cricket Club, which was my first home in the UK. It's quite fitting that my first day is here when I first came to England two, 10 years ago in 2008. My first day was down here at Eastcote. So I'm uh, looking forward to seeing how it is, seeing what's changed. Now I've got four hours of coaching here with four uh, players who want to get better. So looking forward to that. Here we are. Coming in to the great ECC, this is the second um, team pitch. This is where the sort of thirds and fours play. Look at the slope down the hill. Down there, it's an incredible slope. And then over here is the first team ground where I used to get it done occasionally. So this is the old stomping ground and I'm actually going to be playing here next weekend. I've been cleared and registered by the club to play a game here. This is the home ground, this is the first team ground, which the straight boundaries are incredibly small. Hit a few sixes into the car park and that way is a little bit bigger but still not massive. There's a tree on the field over there, there's a tree on the field over here so it's a bit crazy. But here's the, here's the ground, it's very dry at the moment. They've had two weeks of incredibly hot um, weather. This week it looks like a belter. They might have played on this one on the weekend. Looks, looks like it'd be good to play on right now. So next weekend I'll be here. Hopefully I'll uh, get a few. There's the scoreboard. A lot of lost balls every week into the reeds and all over the place. But this is the beautiful East Coast Cricket Club where I had five wonderful seasons from 2008 to 2012 and can't wait to play again for them this week, next weekend. Just there, up, feel it off that fourth finger and then pivot. Yeah, that's it, that was good. Seam came out nicely there. Okay, in here. Okay, not bad, you gotta just try and stop doing that. Gotta get in here, in there. Yes, look at that, that was further outside off because you're not there and then moving your straight line. We want to we want to probably pitch it on off stump as a leggy, especially you skidding them on a bit, maybe some will turn a little bit. You want to be attacking the batsman's forward defence. Okay, you don't want to get two legs stumped because they're not turning, they'll just whip, whip with the skid. Off stumps you, I reckon, then the batsman's unsure. You could beat them on either side of the bat there. One that turns a little bit, you take their outside edge. One that skids on, you hit their front pad. So that off stump line, I think, is what you should be aiming for. Yeah, good, mate. All right, I'm going to go back a bit. Okay, you just don't change a thing. You keep going. Okay, I want you to still try and hit me on the full. Okay, because this is where you'd want to be, you want to be sort of hitting me about knee high. That's where you want to be landing, a little bit past me. Okay, aim to hit me on the full. Fizz off that fourth finger. Nearly, nearly. Spend time on the front foot. Only really three things we're thinking about. In here, fizz off the fourth finger, pivot. I reckon you've just tried to sort of, in between two sort of a run down and a hit, you've sort of tried to do both. One or the other, either hit it hard in front of point, or just let the pace run it down. Yeah, good leave. Make the bowl the bowl to you. Shot, how's that feel? That's a beautiful shot, mate. You lined up, lined up, shape, everything quality. That'll make the vlog great shot. Well left, good decision making. That shows me you switched on, you've left one, driven the next one a bit fuller, left another one, great batting. Oh, a good batting, love that. You'll get a run there, soft hands, quality. Yes, Joshy, how'd that feel? Bang, brilliant. Well played, could have got a bit further back. You're sort of on your front foot there. 
Maybe a run. Good. Excellent. Eyes up. Good. Soft hands. Still think you can just get fractionally further back and across to give you a bit more time. Yes, charm. Quality. Okay, a bit caught on the crease, but it's good that you're playing late. Looks like you're playing well, mate. Yeah. Looks like you're in control, you're making good decisions, you're hitting it late, you're hitting full face, middle of the bat, everything. Technically in there, but it's good. Just don't try and run before you hit it. Whack, great shot. Okay, just hanging back a bit. Shape was pretty good in the end. Just hanging back, keep reacting to the length. Yeah, nice, nice. Solid. Mate, I haven't looked like getting you out yet. Literally haven't looked like it yet. It's just about honing that focus. Every ball. Your decision making is excellent. Your technique's good. It's just not getting carried away. It's just about keeping your focus in the present moment. Every ball. It comes back to, I think, having a mental routine. Do you have a mental routine? I try and switch off my brain. Just, you know what I mean? Just like, as soon as the, as soon as the ball is just about to get into his release, I try and switch myself off, if that makes sense. Yeah, it makes sense, but how? Do you say something, or do you... I always say, watch the ball, and then I just try and open my eyes as much as I can. Yeah, yeah, and it yeah. Just seems to, that, yeah. It seems to switch my brain off. Cool, cool. So your thinking happens in between balls. You think about what's going on, yeah, yeah. and then as the ball is running in, you're still thinking. And then, as soon as you can't, as soon as you just about release the ball, watch the ball, yeah. and then it's there. Okay, good. So something's happening, I reckon. You're not doing that when you're feeling like you're playing well. Yeah, yeah. You get to 30, and it's like, okay, I'm playing well, and subconsciously you're relaxed. That anxiety of being on low score, this energy keeps you focused and keeps you sharp, and then as soon as you relax and go, oh, I'm, I can do this, I'm playing well, switches them off. Their brain, subconsciously, like, I don't, need to, I don't need to focus anymore. So you're not saying that to yourself. So you need to be aware when that moment arises in a game that you're even more, watch this ball, watch this ball, watch this ball, so that you can get through because there'll be little periods and then you'll probably get that energy back and you'll be on again. Yeah. But you've just got to get through the 30 ball, whatever that period is, to then get onto the other side but where you're back in mentally. Yeah, that makes sense. Does that make sense? Yeah. So when you can, if, the key is having the awareness to catch yourself in that moment going, I'm too relaxed here, or I'm paying attention. And maybe, maybe it's a ball that you sh made a mistake, but you didn't get out, and you've got to mentally go, I wasn't fully focused, come on, come on. You go again, that's like your little trigger to start again. Maybe it's batting in blocks of 10. And every time you get to 10, 20, 30, 40, whatever the number, you're like, okay, I'm only on one, I'm only, on one. I'm only on one. And that's worked for me over the years where you're restarting almost, and you're like marking center, you're like, come on, I'm only on zero. And you back up to like, get in that fight again, rather I'm on 40, I'm an easy shit shot. Make sense? Yeah. yeah. Right, so you just gotta find a way, like you're batting beautifully. Find a way mentally to stay sharp. Oi, well, well, well played, good watching. Yeah, not bad. Where, where do you reckon your weight was there? Yeah, you're just here. But you got away with it because it was really full. So when it's really full, you can sort of hit it. If it was back there, you would have got in trouble. Just would have needed to be more there. But you played it fine in the end. Okay, that's the one where I would like you a tiny bit more this way rather than there. Just give you more power. Oi, well played. Got big on you, well played. Shot, nice. Good balance, good control, well played. Yes, Andy, lovely batting. Good. Bit more side on, yeah. I still think you can get even more so it goes exactly where you want it to go. You're still a little bit sort of sliced, but that's a lovely shot. That's four runs. Shot. Good. Okay, that's the one that's just quite front on. It's just, and it. Against the sidearm is quite hard to change. It's probably more like a bowling machine or a yeah. underarm drill where you're just grooving over and over again. And it's I can do that on my own, yeah. Yeah, it's yeah. just 
it's just getting used to not doing this. And that's a normal movement for like tennis, golf, baseball. We want to rotate. Cricket, we've got to try and stay batting, stay side on. Any little twist is going to take you, want to take your bat swing that way. Yeah, I, the one thing I've been quite good at this year is not getting Shane Watsoning and getting my pad stuck. Yeah, here. yeah. So I've been a bit more straight, but I wonder if in doing that, I'm opening myself up. No, no, I think it's, no, I think that foot not getting across is a balance issue. Yeah. That's your head, and so what you're doing well is your head is going here, yeah. not there. Not so, too much? No, no. Like he's a little bit. No, maybe a little bit, but if you were going too much here, then you'd be Shane Watsoning, as you called it. Yeah. Then your foot has to land or else you fall on your face. Yeah. So but the fact that you're saying that you're better in here is because your head's in a better position. Yeah. It's just that as you swing, your downswing, you're used to doing this. So we've just got to get used to holding that side on. Yeah? Okay. Nearly, nearly. So that's the ball that you could potentially get across and get it, you play around your pad, but you played it well, your leg's out of the way. Middle and leg? Yeah. Pretty good, pretty good. Big thing to stay side on is not turning that toe at all. That toe's got to sort of stay facing point, then your knee and hip will stay. If that toe twists, your knee will twist, your hip will twist, shoulders will go too, but it's starting down there. Yes, that's excellent. Very side on. That looked like it, that just looked like you hit the ball exactly where you wanted it to go. Yes, mate. How'd that feel? Yeah, it's a lot different. That was excellent. I think you just get that crisper contact. Yeah. Pretty good, pretty good. Nearly, nearly. <laughs> Shot. Head forward. Brilliant. Head to the ball. That's it. If you want to hit straighter, you just keep that shoulder in longer. You just went off and then you went across it. That's fine. But if you want to hit through mid on, that's got to stay in longer. Nice shot, brilliant. Yes, how'd that feel? Is that where you normally can't hit? Yeah. You're now lining up and your bat's coming through beautifully. Good, brilliant, brilliant. Nice, really good. Shot. It's all right. Come back this way, touch, come back this way. Just both feet, yep, yep, there. Okay, opened up too much that one. Grab some balls. Well played, excellent. That, that nipped down the hill and you just went with it. Good. Shot. How'd that feel? Do you normally hit there? Brilliant, okay, this is what you're capable of just by getting your body in the right position. Yes, okay, that went a bit up, up-ish, but brilliant, your swing's good. Ball's going where you want it to. Okay, you open right up there with your hips. Yeah. So here, and then you were, it's got to be side on. Good. It's about trying to keep it simple. Like if your foot pattern ranges from, like I'm doing right hander, if your foot pattern ranges from over here, outside leg stump, all the way over there to outside off stump, you've got such a big margin to move. Yeah. I think simplistically, batting's about, footwork is about three positions. This is a right-handed stance, that's middle stump. First position is short step straight. Yeah. And then anything straight, whether it's the outside of my left eye, outside leg stump, whatever, we, that's our position. Whether it's middle stump, you're hitting there, further that way you go that way. Then we go a little bit bigger and further outside off, mm -hmm. and you can hit, and then there's variances of that, whether it's there or there or there, it's like, but that's your second position. Yeah. Your third position is back and across. And then whether you're pulling, you get front on, you're cutting, whatever, but you're still in a back and across position. That's it, three positions. But if you're going there, and there, and there, and there, you're just making it so much more complicated. Does that make sense? Yeah.